हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल बी सीइंग द नेक्स्ट कंसेप्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर रियल नंबर्स फ्रॉम नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड अल्जेब्रा टेक्स्ट बुक टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द सेकंड प्रैक्टिस सेट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो लेट अस नाउ मूव ऑन टू पेज नंबर 25 ऑफ द टेक्स्ट बुक टू सॉल्व द प्रैक्टिस सेट सो हियर वी आर ऑन पेज नंबर 25 ऑफ द टेक्स्ट बुक फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इन द प्रैक्टिस सेट 2.2 इज टू शो दैट 4 रूट 2 is an irrational number now how do we show it let us move on to the notebook where i have solved the sum for you all let us go so let us take a look and have to show that 4 root 2 is an irrational number for that first thing that we have to consider is the contradiction so let 4 root 2 be a rational number with this we will go ahead with the proof and show that it is not a rational number and our assumption is wrong so if 4 root 2 is rational number that means that 4 root 2 is a ratio of two numbers p and q where q is not equal to 0 as denominator cannot be 0. So, 4 root 2 is equal to p and p upon q. Therefore, root 2 is equal to p upon 4 q where we transfer the 4 on the other side. Now, we know that p, q and 4 are rational numbers. Therefore, P upon 4Q is rational. Hence, the other side root 2 is also rational. But the fun part as we all know is root 2 is an irrational number. Hence, it is the statement that it is rational it is contradiction therefore our assumption is wrong hence proved that 4 root 2 is irrational that is how we show 4 root 2 is an irrational number. For reference, you all can also see the solved example that is right there on the previous page of the textbook that is page number 24. Taking into consideration page number 24 solved example, we will be now solving practice set 2.2's second problem where we have to prove that 3 root 5, sorry, 3 plus root 5 is an irrational number. Prove that 3 plus root 5 is an irrational number. So, as we saw the first sum, it will be similar to the first sum where we have to again assume the contradiction. Let 3 plus root 5 be a rational number. Hence, 3 plus root 5 is equal to a ratio p upon q where p and q are rational and q is not equal to 0 as denominator cannot be 0. What we get is 3 plus root 5 is equal to p upon q. Therefore, root 5 is equal to p upon q minus 3 on right hand side that is rhs p q and 3 are rational hence left hand side root 5 also is rational which we know is not possible as root 5 
cannot be rational and hence our that is assumption is wrong and 3 plus root 5 is irrational Moving on to the next problem in the practice set, represent the numbers root 5 and root 10 on a number line. Now if you recollect, this is not a new concept. We have studied similar type of concept in standard 8 in the similar chapter, chapter number 2 that is where we have to show particular number on a number line. These numbers are irrational numbers. Now let us see how root 5 and root 10 can be represented on a number line 2.2 represent root 5 and root 10 the both these numbers are irrational number and we are to represent these numbers on a number line now here as you can see i have drawn a number line pointing 0 1 2 and 3 why have i stopped to 3 because root 10 that is greater than root 9 and root 9 is equal to 3 hence i will stop at 3 and I know that the value of root 10 will be a bit further from the number 3. So let us start. Root 5 as we know is bigger than root 4 which is 2. So I know I have to get the value of root 5 between 2 and 3. So first thing that I do is I measure, I take all 3 points at the same measurement. Ideally we consider taking 2 to 3 centimeters between these points so here as you can see i have taken little distance between the points and all the points are at equidistance so this for example if this measure of mine is two centimeters then i am supposed to draw a line of two centimeters at point number two so i will draw a line at point number two and point number three for solving this question you will need an apparatus that is scale pencil and a rounder after drawing the points 2 and 3 i will join the, both the points from 0 so here i have to join the point from 0 to 2 and 0 to 3 so almost half of the sum is done now take a rounder and measure the two points from 0 to 2 i have to keep the rounder the pencil should point at 2 and on keeping the point at 2, I have to just drag that rounder down. So if this is my rounder and here is my pencil, so what I have to do, if my pencil is here, the rounder will come down and it will mark one point over here. Now this point that is marked over here is the value of root 5. Because root 4 is represented at 2. Hence, the value that comes after root 4 is root 5. The new point that I got is root 5. Similarly, I have to take the pencil in the rounder and point 0 to 3. This measurement is root 9. For 3, the measurement is root 9. And if I keep the pencil at this point on top, let us consider point A and point B. So, if I place the pencil at point B and drag it down, I will get the same kind of depression and here I will get a point now this point is root 10 as the value of root 3 root 9 is 3 so the next point that I get is root 10. this is how I represent numbers root 5 and root 10 on a number line so using this concept it is very easy to solve or show any irrational number or a rational number on a number line now let us move on to the final problem of the practice set 2.2 where we are supposed to write any three rational numbers between the given two numbers. First, So we have to write three rational numbers between the given two points. As you can see the first sub question is point 0 to 0 0.3 and minus 0 0.5. So let us start with the first sub question 0 0.3 and 0 minus 0 0.5 we know that zero, minus 0 0.5 is smaller than 0 0.3 so all the values lying between 0 minus 0 0.5 and 0 0.3 can be our answer so the three points 
आर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर जीरो जीरो पॉइंट वन इट कैन बी जीरो पॉइंट टू इट कैन बी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू इट कैन बी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव और एनी अदर वैल्यू सो द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ हैविंग अ रैशनल नंबर बिटवीन टू पॉइंट इज इन्यूमरेबल विच वी विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट सब क्वेश्चन इज माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री एंड माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री थ्री यर माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री थ्री इज स्मॉलर देन माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री द थ्री रैशनल पॉइंट आर माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री टू माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री टू फाइव माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री वन इट कैन बी माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री वन फाइव इट कैन बी माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री वन सेवन और एनी अदर वैल्यू दैट कैन बी देर अगेन द पॉसिबिलिटीज आर इन्यूमरेबल थर्ड सब क्वेश्चन फाइव पॉइंट टू एंड फाइव पॉइंट थ्री फाइव पॉइंट टू इज स्मॉलर देन फाइव पॉइंट थ्री द ऑल द वैल्यूज लाइंग बिटवीन फाइव पॉइंट टू एंड फाइव पॉइंट थ्री आर अवर आंसर सो इट कैन बी फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव फाइव पॉइंट टू सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट टू एट फाइव पॉइंट टू नाइन फाइव पॉइंट टू टू फाइव फाइव पॉइंट टू एट फाइव पॉइंट टू एट नाइन फाइव पॉइंट टू एट सेवन सो द अगेन द पॉसिबिलिटीज आर इन्यूमरेबल एंड सिमिलरली यू कैन डू द फोर्थ सब क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिस सेट विथ दिस आई से दैट द प्रैक्टिस सेट टू पॉइंट टू ऑफ द चैप्टर रियल नंबर इज डन